Hello, I'm Diane and it's great to have you join me once again on Extra. Today on the show we look at early childhood teaching and what it entails. Also we go to the celebrations of the Cosmopolitan's third birthday bash. Speaking of which, Jacqueline Kanabudi had a fun night out during the Cosmopolitan's birthday celebrations. <laughs> The first super club of Port Mosby, the Cosmopolitan, celebrated its third year of existence on Saturday night. In commemorating the event, the club ran through the highlights of series of events that the Cosmopolitan Club has played host to this year. Finalists from Bring It to the Dance for Dance Battle, Rapture, the rap competition, Miss Cosmopolitan 2016 finalists, Vocal Fusion Season 3 and 4 participants, plus the night continued with the Red Bull Master of the Mix finalist. The club came into existence three years back to fulfill Tony Honey's teenage dream of owning a nightclub. Mr. Honey is currently the managing director for the Cosmopolitan. The club is consistently changing to adapt to the modern market and is continuing to bring entertainment to a whole new dynamic level. Martin Sherry, the general manager of the club, stated that the Cosmopolitan Club will continue to change and present different types of entertainment and host corporate, private and exciting club events in the years to come. Certainly a fun night out. Next, many of us may think it's a simple task of ensuring children, especially toddlers, are kept out of harm's way and that they're given the basic when it comes to security and well-being. But it takes a whole lot more than that, especially for childcare minders at places like daycare centres and learning centres. It's a job that's taken very seriously. Knowing Dada finds out more. Children are the apple of any parent's eye, a parent least to say would do just about anything to ensure their child is well looked after, fed and protected from harm's way. It takes a lot to look after a child so bear a thought for those who do get to do all the parent stuff when you're at work or unable to care for your child and you leave them in the capable hands of a trained child caregiver. At the new Sweet Steps Learning Centre, serious care is given for all kids that pass through their gate. It's a learning centre that minds one to five year olds and utmost care is paramount. Stacy Sweet is no stranger to PNG. Although an American by birth, Stacy recently celebrated 19 years of living in PNG, most of her time and effort put into early childhood development. But I think I feel that the quality of like the TAFE programs here uh, and I believe there's three TAFE programs. Two are in PNG that are trained and one um, sends their students to Fiji and Vanuatu. I believe that's it. It's Vanuatu and Fiji. I, I feel that there should be a quality training program here that really will teach young early child teachers proper procedures in dealing with young children because um, it's very special qualifications. The young, the young, children, the young um, folks need to continue their education, not to grade 12, um, and um, then go off to university. It's just not, you, you just can't open a early childhood center just because you want to. You have to be educated. You have to go get your for your college degree in early childhood education um, and to understand the development. So I, I encourage women, men, 
we want to get into this field to check out the TAFE programs here um, or even overseas. I, I believe the TAFE, they um, offer overseas qualifications online. They have uh, the internet access and, and uh, just continue their education and, and continue to learn. That's Childcare is a new trend in PNG where it offers the working class parents an option to leave their toddlers in the care of trained professionals for a day. An option moving away from the traditional notion of leaving young children in the care of grandparents, relatives or babysitters. We quickly find out there's more to it than meets the eye. I feel that early childhood is a very important aspect of learning. It's a, it's a stepping stone for future education. Um, if they get a, a good start, a quality start um, in early childhood, then their learning experience will be hopefully enjoyable throughout their secondary, from primary and secondary at uh, school. Gross motor, fine motor skills, um, hygiene is very important to me, so I also work through the hygiene process of changing nappies. We disinfect. They have to wear gloves, they have to wash their hands. Hygiene is very important at this school and cleanliness and, and we offer a state of the art curriculum here, I feel. A great option for young tots coming up afternoon tea.